Hi, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to look at how to install the Mac OS Yosemite onto an external hard drive. So you can install this onto a USB stick, onto an external hard drive, onto a Thunderbolt drive, onto an SD card, whatever you want that is an external device. So what this lets you do is it lets you boot into your Mac uh, with another operating system, in this case Yosemite, and you can diagnose your existing installation. So currently on here, I'm running, if we have a look, I'm running 10.8, all right? So this is an older version. I'm gonna be installing uh, Yosemite on here, uh, onto the USB stick in this case, uh, which will let me um, boot into that. I can use it for testing, I can use it for diagnosis, I can use it for fixing up my partitions, running disk utility, all those sort of things installing other operating systems. Um, it's just a really handy thing to have. Uh, so a couple of tips. One, make sure you have enough storage space. So this is just a 16 gig. I wouldn't go anything smaller than a 16 gig um, drive or storage space, uh, just because it does uh, take a bit of space to install the Yosemite. And if you're gonna install any utilities, any tech tools or anything like that, any uh, you know separate applications on your external drive, uh, you want to have a bit of extra space. Also, I'd recommend USB 3 or uh, Thunderbolt as your connection. Uh, it can be a little bit slow if you're installing it onto a USB 2 drive. So just put it onto a faster drive and you'll have no problems. So, I've got my installation here for OS X uh, Yosemite, which I've downloaded from the Mac App Store. And I've got a Mac Bootable um, hard drive here. Right, USB stick. So what I'm going to want to do is first thing is go into my disk utility and format that drive. So this is a drive that I've just put into the computer. So we'll go into arrays, Mac OS journals, we'll call it Mac bootable arrays. Make sure that it is a Mac OS extended uh, format otherwise you're gonna run into problems. Okay, so that is done. So that drive is now done and ready to go for our installation, all right? Next step, fairly straightforward. We run the installer, 10.10, .10, agree to the terms and conditions. Now in this site, we don't want to click on Macintosh X, which is the hard drive of this computer. We wanna click on show all and go to Mac bootable. Okay, select that and click on install, put in your password, and now that installation will now begin. So it will take a little bit of time, it's gonna do a bunch of initial checks, and then start the initial process. If all things have worked correctly, you shouldn't need to have any interaction, it should just go through automatically. Before you load uh, into your, your Mac OS, once it's finished installing, it will ask you to do a bunch of configuration, so setting up your, your Apple ID, a bunch of personal information, a password, a username, all those sort of things. So do that and uh, we'll go from there. So your Mac will now reboot and you should be good to go after you've done all your initial configuration, you've thrown in all of your details you'll now be on your Mac that is running on your USB stick. Now, you'll see that I'm just here in the Finder, and I've got my Mac boot, which is my USB drive. See all the Mac folders in here? And then you've got your Macintosh X, which is the hard drive that's on the actual computer itself. So it is running both the old OS in, installed on Macintosh X and the newer OS uh, Yosemite on Mac boot. Now, what you can also do is if you uh, go into your system preferences and into startup disk, you'll see there are two options here. So by default, uh, your Mac will try to boot in to your USB stick. Most of the time, you don't want to do that. You want to have your hard drive that's on your computer to be your primary boot device. Uh, you'll only really want to use this one, uh, the USB one that we just set up for recovery or if you want to test another OS or anything like that. So what we want to do is we want to select the Macintosh X1. Okay, so that is now going to be our primary one. All right, 
just to double check that that was okay. Good. So that's really it. So when you start up your computer now, it's going to boot into your Mac OS that's installed on your computer already by default. If you want to boot into your USB stick, as soon as you switch it on and then just before you hear the chime, uh, hold down the option key on your keyboard uh, for a few seconds and then you'll see a list of options pop up. It's going to give you the option of booting into one of the two. Uh, so you select your USB stick if you want to boot into your version of Yosemite or, or you select your other drive if you want to boot into your other drive. So that's essentially it. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, and you can also visit my website, www.digitalbytecomputing.com. Thanks for watching.